Hi, boys and girls, and moms and dads. Uh, I'm back. I'm Joseph Kiefler, author and illustrator of picture books. And um, I'm here on the Instagram feed of Wild Rumpus, my local independent bookstore, to share my books, to help support independent bookstores who need our support now more than ever, and um, to talk about making picture books, I suppose. So today I'm going to read Rulers of the Playground. It's my second book. This book was the hardest book by far for me to make, not because the art was difficult, but because sometimes if you do something once, it seems easy. Like if you ride your bike with no hands one time, it maybe feels easy, like you, you did it. But then when you have to repeat something for a second time, it can, it can sometimes feel really difficult. And I wasn't sure if, if Beyond the Pond, my first book, if I'd made that because I was accidentally um, okay at drawing and writing. Uh, I wasn't sure if I had more ideas that people would want to hear. And so um, sometimes that second book, or that second album if you're a musician, or that second movie if you make films, is really difficult. And that was the case for this, for this book. Also, um, this book, I was making this book when my third child, Augustine, was born. So I have pictures of myself drawing the art from this book while holding a newborn, which isn't really the easiest way to make a book. So one of the hardest, but I love the book all the same. So let's read this today, Rulers of the Playground. And if you look on the end papers, which I always love to, um, to draw, there's some fun details. So if you own this book or if you buy this book, I encourage you to look at the end papers. As I said in my reading, uh, in, in my other readings, I love dedications. It's really important that I dedicate the book to somebody that really was special and important uh, in the making of this book. So I dedicated this book to Nikki for building me a kingdom and filling it with rulers. Nikki is my partner. She's the mother of my children, the woman I, I live with, and a book about children, all of whom are, are named after my own children, felt right to, to dedicate it to her. So, Rulers of the Playground by Joseph Kiefler. One morning, Jonah decided to become ruler of the playground. I am now king of this land, announced Jonah. Promise to obey me and I'll let you play in my kingdom. Hmm. He's got a silly outfit on, doesn't he? Jonah's kingdom had slides, so everyone Pinky promised, and just like that, Jonah became king of the playground. If you have watched my Beyond the Pond reading, you know my oldest son's name is Jonah, and my other daughter's name is Lennox, and my youngest daughter's name is Augustine. So let's listen for those names as well. And just like that, Jonah became king of the playground. King Jonah was skilled. Look at me! In some ways, oh, I order this tree to move. And generous, who's hungry? Most of the time, you can share this one cracker. Everyone played in King Jonah's kingdom. Everyone except for Lennox. Oh, she does not look happy, does she? If you look at the kids in the playground, you'll see that they're doing all sorts of kid-like things. Somebody's peeking from behind the ladder, a little boy is picking his nose in the tube, which unfortunately happens quite a bit. Because she wanted to rule the playground too. This side of the playground is now mine, announced Lennox. Cross your hearts and promise to follow my rules. Lennox's kingdom had swings, so they crossed their hearts and promised. And just like that, Lennox became a mighty queen. She looks pretty mighty. If you notice throughout the book, the, uh, the birds are mimicking the, the kids, and they're, they're usually doing some silly things. And um, the reason that is is because sometimes as picture book makers, we have the main story that you are watching, but then it's fun to have other details that you only notice later, or you notice um, in a way that doesn't relate to the to the text into the main images that we're creating and that's just a fun extra detail that makes that make books more fun to read over and over again queen lennox was wise watch this in most cases oh i totally meant to do that and patient 
Take your time, most days. Okay, enough already. She's not a very good queen, is she? Everyone played in Queen Lennox's kingdom. Everyone except for King Jonah. This playground is mine, hollered King Jonah. It is not, shouted Queen Lennox. It's all mine. They're not getting along very well, which is unfortunate. And just like that, the playground was divided in two. King Jonah and Queen Lennox each made a plan to grow their kingdoms. Just like the end papers, these plans and these maps are filled with all sorts of hidden details, little jokes. So if you pick this book up from the library or if you buy it, I would encourage you to study those because there's some funny things there. They conquered small things. Push, said King Jonah, harder. Spin, said Queen Lennox, faster, faster. And big things. Climb, shouted King Jonah. Higher, shouted Queen Lennox. They're pretty bossy. And if you notice, I think the kids are getting sick of being bossed around. They even tried to conquer Augustine's dog, Sir Hamilton Humphrey Hildebrand III. Stay, hollered King Jonah. Fetch, shouted Queen Lennox. She does not look happy. Keep your eye on, Lennox, on Augustine. She becomes a, an important detail later. King Jonah and Queen Lennox claimed the entire playground until there was nothing left to conquer and no friends to play with. Conquering is complicated, said King Jonah. Yeah, said Queen Lennox, super complicated. So they made a new plan. They took down their royal flags. They gave back their kingdoms. Jonah stopped being king. Lennox stopped being queen. We're done conquering, said Jonah. We cross our hearts and promise to never be rulers again, said Lennox. Augustine's thinking about something down there. And just like that, the playground was fun again. Everyone was happy, except for Augustine and Sir Hamilton Humphrey Hildebrand III. Oof. So they take over the playground next. The end. So that was Rulers of the Playground. It was my second book, as I said. And, um, you know, we picture bookmakers always have a lot of thoughts in our heads when we're making new work. And for me, I, was, uh, I had two children at the time, which, if you remember, I told you Augustine was born right as this book was being drawn. And I was worried about what my house would be like with three children, not two. I was wondering if they would get along. I was wondering if Augustine, the youngest, would um, take over like she does at the end of this book or if they would all um, argue and, and compete with each other. So that was one thing. And then the other thing is at the time, there was just a lot of um, things happening in the world that had me thinking about how important it is to to get along with one another, to be kind, to collaborate with each other, to share. And um, you know, when we do those things, when we're kind to one another, just like on the playground, if a bully is not being too nice to you or if friends aren't sharing, it's not as much fun. If we do those things, everyone benefits. The world is better, not just for you, but for the people you share with. So I thought it would be important to make a book that, that taught kids about the importance of of getting along and nobody likes a ruler who's unkind nobody likes a bossy selfish um, friend and so that's what this book was about um, again thank you for reading and thank you for coming to Wild Rumpus's Instagram handle I really hope that if you have a spare few dollars I know it's a really tough time for people if you do have some spare money and you want to point that money at a good cause I encourage you to buy a book not one of mine necessarily, but just a book you love. And I encourage you to buy it from an independent bookstore like Wild Rumpus. Um, I'll be back with more readings and I hope you have a wonderful day.